Yes, another edition of Dubai Interviews is here. Platinum, Aliel, Maison de Fleur. Those are just few names of a successful companies who have one thing in common. It's a chairman and managing director, Mr. Gregory Delay. And here is interview with him. Uh, yes, in fact, I came the first time with uh, a chef called Alain Ducasse. Uh, based in Monte Carlo, which is one of the most uh, renowned chefs so far. Uh, we came here for the first time together when I used to work in Monte Carlo. Uh, we came here in 1994. And uh, as a matter of fact, a few years back, uh, we were based in uh, London. And I had the opportunity to meet someone based in, uh, in Dubai. And he said, why don't you come back to Dubai and base yourself here? So I had an opportunity to come uh, and work in the hospitality at the Royal Mirage. Uh, so I was first in charge of a, a restaurant called Celebrities. And then uh, I was in charge of Ozone. And then I was in charge of the restaurant in general. While I was at the Royal Mirage, I met uh, an Italian couple, uh, Marco, and he's still my very good friend today. Uh, the ideal scenario was for me to leave the Royal Mirage with enough cash flow to set up my company and to live in Dubai. Uh, luckily, uh, it was done in a very few weeks. Uh, I established Platinum in 2004. Uh, we started with an office in uh, Media City. Uh, we still have the office uh, down there in the CNA building, building 2, which is the head office based in the free zone. Uh, we are here in Motor City. We bought this office uh, in 2008, which is now the headquarter. We have a branch in uh, Kingdom Tower in Saudi Arabia. We are just uh, finalizing the setup in Monte Carlo. 2004, we established Platinum. 2006, uh, Marco uh, was not uh, involved in the company, so he asked me if uh, I wanted to take over. Uh, so I bought him back in 2006. From Platinum Events, we built another company called Platinum Lifestyle. The Lifestyle is like a bespoke concierge service. We are very uh, limited in numbers, so we cater for royal family in Saudi Arabia, for some head of state in Europe. Of course, all those people I will uh, keep as a confidential uh, matters. Uh, lately, we have developed two years ago. We have another company, we do furniture rental. So uh, as we have an event company, we used to rent out to other companies, sofas uh, and bespoke products like this. So now we are one of the leading uh, company for furniture rental. We have uh, around 10,000 square foot uh, of uh, sofa, uh, multi-design. So this is like on furniture So we have a quite an extensive range of uh, furniture for royal wedding uh, bespoke anniversaries. Uh, we are involved in another company called Aliel, which is a uh, uh, bespoke boutique jewelry company. We design, we produce. We have atelier in Italy, Singapore, Hong Kong. Uh, we are a boutique brand, yet we provide the best, uh, such as yellow diamonds, pink diamonds, blue diamonds, and beautiful uh, sets in general. Um, the latest venture uh, we just opened a few days ago is Maison des Fleurs, as well to add to the event department, such as furniture and flowers. So we opened Maison des Fleurs, uh, which started already very well, and we have already several orders for the coming weeks. And uh, that's it. So this is the, uh, the sort of foundation of what we do today. I think we are like a, a service provider. Uh, we have a very strong clientele in our foundation. We work a lot with uh, luxury brands, uh, such as, as Richemont Group, for example. Uh, we work with Roger Dubuis, we work with IWC, uh, Van Cleef. Uh, then we go to Chanel, we go to LVMH, uh, Swatch Group. Uh, this is for the uh, luxury brands. Then we go uh, to Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank, such as Bank, DCB, or banking system from Islamic to conventional. Uh, we work as well a lot with Abu Dhabi government for the past 10 years, as well with the uh, Prime Minister office in Dubai with his Highness, uh, and several other clients, so which is our uh, foundation and the long term uh, partnership. I have to say again, I have a very, uh, I'm very lucky since I am six years old, I had a vision for every single step in my life. When I was six, I started to work across uh, my, uh, my place, my family home. When I was 11, I wanted to do hospitality. 
uh, hotel school, so I went to uh, Brussels to do that. Uh, when I was at school, I had a goal is to do the best restaurant in the world, so I went to uh, Hong Kong, I went to uh, Alain Ducasse, I went to Robuchon, uh, so this was my goal. I did hospitality for 12 years. Hospitality brought me to, uh, to Dubai. Uh, when I was in Dubai, just before, I already had in mind Platinum, uh, so Platinum was in my mind maybe already five, six years before I came to Dubai. I thought Dubai was a perfect opportunity uh, for the business, so I had the luck to meet a financial partner and I had the luck to be at the right place at the right moment. Uh, I went from uh, a one-man shot uh, company uh, in 2004 to uh, something way stronger in 2013. Uh, why I decided to open an office in Monte Carlo? Uh, because I believe even if Dubai is a land of opportunity, we don't belong here yet. There is not uh, a place for us to, to sort of end our life here. So the way I see myself is to, to live in South of France or in Europe uh, in this area, to develop a business still because I don't intend to do nothing. Uh, Monte Carlo, uh, as you know, is 1.9 square kilometer. Uh, they have around 6,000 uh, money gas people and around uh, 15,000 residents. So I want to be part of those uh, numbers. Uh, and to deal with uh, local business and to, to develop something there. Uh, you know, I, uh, I started in my office in Media City with a single desk. When I left Media City, it was packed with nine, uh, and we had 60 square meters, and today we, we have around 400 square meters of offices uh, in, uh, in the head office, and it's a non-stop growing things. The, if I may say today, the challenge or the challenge we went through, it's always to secure uh, uh, great value in the staffing and to find some great staff uh, and great, uh, great people. So this, I think, is one of the most challenge uh, what even Dubai has in general, is to find the right people to, uh, to make the country grow. So, you know, if you look at the local communities, uh, which is less than 20% of the population today, one of the main challenges they have for today and for the future is to make sure uh, the local community uh, gets stronger in, the, in the, the education and, uh, and training. And you can see you now the past uh, five, ten years, you can see all those young locals, they became chairman and CEO, yet do they have the right expertise? Yes and no. So it's an ongoing uh, progress they have to make. If you talk about events in general, I think events industry today, I think there is around 250 to 500 companies. I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I never looked at benchmark. Uh, I think everybody has a different specialty. If you look at the event industry, some people are focused in production, some people are focused in concerts, some they are focusing in uh, corporate events. The luck what we have done for the past 10 years, we developed, we have a strong relationship in the uh, government, corporate business, uh, social, private, uh, and weddings. So we have a very niche clientele, uh, the luxury brand, they want the best services. So what we are providing to our client is, if not the best, a very good service. Uh, Nobody is perfect, so sometimes you do mistakes, sometimes uh, uh, we do things uh, wrong, but the most important is on a daily basis to criticize ourselves. I criticize my team a lot, I criticize myself a lot, and the only way to move forward and to go better and better is just to say, yes, we have done this great, but what was wrong, what went wrong, to be better and better. And I think this is one of the, uh, you know, I was learning a few weeks ago, uh, how to recover uh, a mess up with a client and this client to become your best customer and it happened to me a few times and and those clients after 10 years they're still my clients so sometimes it happened uh, but it's like how you recover the client and how you maintain a relationship today 95% uh, of my clients they are at the friends we are calling on a weekly or monthly basis we exchange emails so we keep a relationship so the client is not only a one-off client uh, the foundation of our success and business is the same client to come back to us. Some clients we do 10 events a year, some we do 20 events a year, some we do it for a while. So for example, we have a client for the past now three, four years, we do birthdays, celebration, etc., etc. And this is the, the foundation of the business. If you don't have those clients, we won't be here. Uh, we, we live in a city with more than 200 nationalities, more than 50 religions, uh, it's a monarchy. 
but since I'm here for the past 13 years, and when you look around, you know, it's a bit of a uh, dream city, you know, it's very safe, it's great for families, Yes, things are happening, but nothing compared to uh, other places in the world. So I think uh, the leaders we have, uh, as Sheikh Khalifa or Sheikh Mohammed, for example, uh, they are great leaders. They are they are involved on daily basis. They work very hard, uh, and they give the uh, the leadership and the sample of how we, as entrepreneur, we should uh, work and deliver things on daily basis. Uh, Dubai from outside is shiny. Is good or bad, but when you live here, it's a real city with real issues, with real challenges, but also with real great opportunities, you know. Uh, what you do here, uh, or what I have been here for now 10 years, uh, I don't think either in Belgium or in Europe or anywhere in the world you can do the same as what you have done here. When you work so hard, uh, sometimes uh, we work seven days a week countless hours but you know personally I love what I do so I have no issue I can work from nine o'clock in the morning until three o'clock at night I have no issue whatsoever uh, once again uh, my philosophy in life is uh, work hard and play hard and I will keep it like this uh, unfortunately we know when we're born but we don't know when is the end of it so you know I have my personal experience where some of my family member left early uh, and some friends so uh, based on this I uh, build up my own uh, motto and my motto is why should I enjoy tomorrow when I can enjoy today? Uh, you know, and this is beautiful. It's like uh, you can be working six days a week and then on a Friday uh, you can go with the uh, Ferrari owners club and drive your car. Next week you go to the, the racetrack and you enjoy this. So the week after you can go to uh, Bali with your friends. The week after you go to the Monaco office. The, the day after you go to Saudi Arabia. And this is, uh, again, if I have to resume, this is because of Dubai, network place, uh, foundation place, and it's a great opportunity. Again, if I stayed in the hospitality back home in Europe, I will never do what I do today. Of course, I have, like uh, everybody uh, would say, uh, my second home is the uh, one and only Royal Mirage. Uh, I used to work there, and uh, if I'm not there at least once or twice or three times a week, uh, I think uh, something is missing. I think the, uh, the place uh, uh, gave me at the beginning uh, what I wanted. And since I think it's still the most stylish uh, resort in Dubai, I think uh, they keep building towers, towers without any spirit whatsoever. Uh, it would be nice to have more places like this. Uh, it's good to go home and have someone who understands yourself. Uh, sometimes she helped me at work. Uh, she's sweet. She's lovable. Uh, I cannot just wait to have a family together. I think this is now, you know, uh, I come from a very normal family. I lost my father when I was 11. Uh, I, wa I lost my mom a few years back. So for me, I think today the goal is to recreate a family, to, to grow back to, to something which is, uh, and you know, I see some of my, uh, some of my friends and the kids, it's, uh, it's a complete new life for them. So I think this is now my, uh, my new uh, goal allocation, uh, you know, to make money in Dubai, it's easy. Uh, to buy nice toys, it's easy. Uh, but to create a family, I think there is nothing as such. Uh, I think nothing can compare to uh, upcoming little boy or girl uh, and to have a healthy family. I think this is my uh, 2014, 15, 16, uh, and for the next uh, year's uh, goal. Again, I have my goal. I want to have a nice modern farm. I want to have a bit of, uh, you know, nice uh, vegetable area, some nice animals to have my toys. And of course, the most important would be to have my family around, you know. I have a goal to have two kids. So now we need to work on it. And this is my ultimate goal.